It's story time. It's story time. Come on, gather around because it's story time. Welcome to the story time with me. We're gonna read books. We're gonna have some laughs. We're gonna smile today. We're gonna have a lot of laughs because it's story time with me. I was just sitting down and taking off my mask, getting comfortable to be here with you today. And I'm so excited to see you. You know, I'm sure you're probably pretty familiar by now with these little guys that we wear on our faces, right? Well, it's probably, you're probably wondering, how do I share a smile when I'm so excited to see somebody, but they can't see my smile underneath my mask? Well, thanks to our friends at Simon & Schuster, I'm so excited today to share a story with you about sharing a smile, even with our masks. I hope you're doing wonderful, and I hope you're ready for an incredible story. Now, of course, what we always do at Storytime with Nina, we go big, we be kind, and we be ourselves. You know, going big in a world like today is sometimes kind of difficult, because what are we supposed to do? You know, one of the things that we can do right now when we're going big is we can be kind, and we can continue to wear these really wonderful things called masks to help us stay safe and help keep other people safe as well. And of course, while we do that, and we be ourselves and we wear our masks, we're celebrating who we are and we're, and we're being ourselves. So I say thank you for being here today and thank you for allowing me to share a story about sharing a smile, even during these really difficult times. So of course, what do I always say? Grab a snack, grab a sippy, and curl up for a really great time because we are about to crack open a book called Sharing a Smile. Sharing a Smile by Nikki Kramer with illustrations by Ashley Evans. Here we go. Are you ready to share a smile? Let me see. Ah, look at me. Smile. Are you smiling at how? Are you smiling at how? Cause I'm smiling here in my river room. Are you smiling? I'm smiling. Are you smiling? I'm smiling. We're smiling. <laughs> well, sorry, Nina's being real silly today. Okay. Sharing a smile. Here we go. Go. Cause you know what, you know what? It's so important right now to make sure we share a smile and share joy with one another. As the world wakes up, we need to make sure we wake up our joy and our happiness and our smiles. So let's do that, huh? Let's do that right now. Okay, so here we go. Oh. <laughs> My dog is joining me in the room. Hello, welcome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Sharing a smile. The world was changing. Everyone was wearing masks. It wasn't just nurses and doctors, firefighters, or superheroes anymore. Everyone was wearing masks. We all have to wear masks to help keep everyone safe. Sophie's grandpa explained. And you can see Sophie's grandpa and Sophie. Just like the Hera family down the street, remember Sophie? They have always worn masks whenever they go outside. And you can see the Hera family in the picture wearing masks, playing football, and uh, but wearing masks. Mr. Landon is wearing a mask right now, working in his garden. Sophie remembered how she usually helped Mr. Landon with his flowers. Would she need to wear a mask to help him now? And you can see Mr. Landon planting with the mask on. You can see Sophie in the window looking on, a little sad, like, will she get to help Mr. Landon? She wasn't too sure. And if she did, would she have to wear a mask? The mail carrier, Sammy, too, her grandpa said. Sophie watched Sammy walk by. She thought about putting a mask on to go outside to get the letters. Sammy waved to her, like always, but Sophie couldn't see Sammy smile. And you can see Sammy waving and Sophie and her grandpa looking on, and Sophie looks concerned that she can't see Sammy smile. Because it's hidden by that mask. Hmm. 
Sophie peeked out and saw Ms. Diaz wearing a mask while she admired the butterflies. You can see that in the window. Jacob and Abigail wore them while riding their bikes. And you can see that here in this illustration. She's in the window looking at the butterflies. They're wearing them as they ride their bikes. And Sophie thought about how fun it could be to ride her bikes with them. Then Sophie and her grandpa looked across the street at Jenny's house. Is Jenny wearing one too, Sophie asked. Sophie waved at Jenny. Jenny waved back. Jenny looks scared, Sophie said to Grandpa. Huh, I wonder why that is. Maybe she is, Grandpa said. It can be hard to be brave when things change. That's why we need our friends to help us. We need our friends to help us be brave. That gave Sophie an idea. Are you ready to put your mask on and go out, Sophie? Grandpa asked. Not yet, said Sophie, but I have a plan. With Grandpa's help, she went to work. Sophie stretched and Grandpa sewed. So Sophie sketched and Grandpa sewed. They worked all day and stayed up late getting every detail just right. And you can see on the wall, look at all those sketches that Sophie was doing. And you can see Grandpa getting the machine ready, sewing. This is cool. The next morning, it was time to surprise their friends with the gifts that they had made. Now I'm ready, Sophie said. She and Grandpa put on their masks and they stepped outside. Sophie and Grandpa walked around the neighborhood sharing their gifts. First, flowers for Mr. Landon. You can see that on the bag. And for Ms. Diaz, a butterfly parade. It's a mask, oh my goodness. Bike wheels for Jacob and Abigail on their masks. They handed out purple ones, pink ones, yellow ones, and green ones. Masks that matched everyone's personality a paintbrush for Mr. Hera, a football for Mrs. Hera, and of course, polka dots for Kiku. Oh my gosh, look at all those cool masks. Sophie and her grandpa are amazing and look at all those gifts they gave to everyone. They even covered one in musical notes, perfect for the mail carrier, Sammy. And look how happy Sammy is with all of those awesome musical notes masks. And also, I would like to point out, the mask matches my hair. I love this mask. <laughs> Finally, they got to Jenny's house. Sophie held up a mask they made for Jenny. A lion to help her be brave. Oh my goodness, there's lions just like Jenny's on the mask. Oh my gosh. She knew Jenny couldn't see her smile. But Sophie was so happy, and Jenny still smiled back. <gasps> the whole neighborhood smiled back. And look at this illustration. As we, as we finish this book of sharing a smile, you see everyone in their masks happy to wear them and share those smiles with one another, even though those smiles might be covered up by a mask. Because you know what? The work is done sometimes when you wear a mask. I smile every time under my mask. And I know even though you can't see it, you probably can feel my happiness. I just want to say first of all and foremost, thank you to our friends at Simon & Schuster for allowing us today to share a smile. We are so excited and thrilled that we're able to do this and remind you the importance of sharing your smile underneath our masks. We want to take, we hope kids you're inspired and we hope that you're reminded that it's still important. We're still in the middle of this. It's still important for you to wear your mask and even maybe create some fabulous masks for friends and share your smile as you give them out. Now, parents and caregivers, go beyond the book. Maybe make a daytime activity of making masks and sharing them with your neighbors and friends. 
or even taking selfies and posting them for people to see you looking happy in your mask. Whatever you do, make sure you crack open a good book and go on an adventure. And most importantly, the three things we always say, go big, live your life out loud, be kind, make sure you're kind to everyone, but mostly yourself and be you. There's only one you in the world and you're the most important thing you can be. So never be anything but you. Thank you for joining me today on Storytime with Nina. Until next time, crack open a good book and go on an adventure. You are wonderful. You're one of a kind, like a lucky star. You light up my life, so keep on smiling. Keep on shining, go big, be kind, be you. Now sing this to someone you love, someone you think is very special. You are wonderful, you're one of a kind, like a lucky star. You light up my life, so keep on smiling, keep on shining. Go big, be kind, be you. Anytime you're feeling sad and blue, remember you're special because there's only one you. You are wonderful, you're one of a kind, like a lucky star. You light up my life, so keep on smiling, keep on shining. Go big, be kind, be you. Thank you for singing with me, and always remember just how special you really are. Go big, be kind, be you. Go big, be kind, be you.